What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Twisted Life TV. I am Boys for You. Are here for Traveling Talk Tuesday. Y'all just missed me saying good morning to my neighbors. That one right there, he don't speak. <laughs> Anywho, child, I am on my way to work. Hopefully, this will be a good day. Because your girl is tired. Your girl is exhausted. Mentally. Drained. All of that. All of that. And luckily, majority of the work that I would have to do today, I did already. I did it on Saturday. So, if it's anything like yesterday, I should get off work at a pretty decent time. But, my problem is... I want to come home and rest, but there's so much stuff I know I need to do. That's the biggest problem that I have. Well, anywho, child, let me to give y'all an update on the biopsies. So far, my daughter hasn't heard about hers, so I don't. We don't have any updated information. Morning, we don't have any updated information about her situation yet. She probably ain't checked her emails. I don't know last time they called her, so we'll see. We'll find out. But as far as me, my uh, doctor called me already. Let me tell you the bullshit that she on. Because you already know it's bullshit. Called me already, told me that my biopsy was normal. What does that mean? Okay? <laughs> what does that mean that my biopsy is normal? And she says, um, well, it shows that you have no signs of cancer, no signs of, she said cancer, she named off a lot of diseases that I don't have, oh, HPV, I don't have, um, mm, child, it was a lot of diseases that she named off. What she didn't name was the endometrial tearing that she meant that she told me about which is how we got to me actually having a biopsy right um and i was like uh so what's going on with the tearing she said what are you talking about now mind you she just called me one but within five days of me actually having this biopsy within five days of me actually going to the doctor so i just went to the doctor last monday right but now she don't know what i'm talking about I said, the Terry that you mentioned. She said, oh no, I never said anything like that. I told you these doctors and these lying. <clears throat> and I saw a lot of y'all post that yeah, I need to get a lawyer on that stat. It's hard to find doctors, one, who are willing to go up against the VA, but one to go up against medical practitioners, period, because one, they lie. They omit stuff from your records they rename stuff in your records to make it seem like it's something that it isn't. Like when I t asked her, why is the hell um, the medicine that she sent me for bleeding, why does it say that I requested birth control? That's not what I did. She said, oh, we have to categorize it. The VA makes us put it on a certain category. So it's not that you got it for birth control, but I said, but my records say that I got it for birth control. That's not what, I, what you sent that to me for. So it's a lie, you know what I'm saying? So now, here we are back in another lie. Cause she's saying, she don't recall mentioning the word tearing to me at all. I said, oh yes ma'am, that's how we got to the biopsy. When I accused you of disrupting the flow or the size or the, or, or the fibroid itself, and you caused the bleeding, you said, oh that's impossible, which I know is not impossible, like I said again. You said, maybe we tore your endometrial wall. Oh, no, now she remembers. But mind you, I do, if I think back on it, that itch baby didn't write shit down. She never even turned the computer on. Let me tell you, they told me to take a blood, uh, a urine sample so they could test to see if I'm pregnant. Now, I already know I wasn't pregnant because it's been some years before your girl got that. So, I already knew this, but... And they knew this because they asked me already how long it's been since the last time I was sexually active. And I told them. But they said it's standard procedure. We have to do uh, a urinalysis to see if you're pregnant, right? I said, okay, fine. I did my urine sample, 
when I got ready to do my biopsy, because I tried to get a picture before the doctor walked in, my urine sample was sitting in the sink. They had never sent it out for testing. So they did my biopsy without actually testing my urine sample because one, they already knew based off of me saying I ain't had sex in years that I couldn't be pregnant unless, you know, I was having giving birth to a second Jesus coming. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting here like, so but when, after the procedure was over, I was like, I'm going to get a picture of the dog on urine sample sitting in the sink. It was gone. They took it then. So maybe they tested it afterward, but they supposed to test it before. But yeah, but that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? So even when if I go to a, a lawyer to, to try to prove my case, the only evidence I have at this particular point is my conversations that I have with you guys. Every time I leave out the doctor or every time I talk to the doctor, I come on here and I tell y'all exactly what the doctor said and what happened. And um, this ain't no difference in this case because I doubt very seriously that she wrote anywhere in my records that I have possible endometrial tearing. I'm eating a salmon croquette, y'all. And a um, fish burger for some people, salmon patty for others. Salmon croquette. That's what I'm eating. Okay, so I doubt very seriously any of that is in my records. So even if I was to go to a lawyer, they pull my records, that's all they got to say is, I didn't say that. This is, she told me this. She told me she wanted birth control. She told me this. She told me, you know what I'm saying? They can say that because they are not fully documenting the whole process. So I need to make sure that when I go to the doctor, I say, put that in my records. I'm going to have to specify they put it in my records or they not. They never turn the computer on, y'all. Never turn the computer on. Where they sit there and document everything. Never turn the computer on. Um. Mm. So, she then goes on to say, well, the um, ultrasound that we have scheduled for you better tell if you got endometrial tearing. I said, no, ma'am, that ain't what you told me. I said, the only reason why we did the biopsy is because you claimed we had endometrial tearing. We was trying to figure out what if that was the cause of bleeding. She's going to tell me my bleeding is a normal menstrual cycle. No, bitch, I've been bleeding for almost a year and a half. That ain't normal. That ain't normal. Don't even put that lie out there. Don't even put that lie out there. And I've been bleeding because of y'all. I wasn't bleeding until I agreed to do the procedure y'all talked me into. So, anywho, child. My ultrasound is now scheduled for June. The, the lab called me, radiology, and they was like, your doctor said that you don't need this appointment to the end of June, to the end of May. The May date, I couldn't do for whatever reason. Oh, because I'm already taking off a lot that week. And I couldn't take off another day. Um, so I'm trying not to use all my leave up because I got trips planned this year. So I was like, I can't take that one. So the next date was available was June 7. Which was a week later. And um, I'm like, well, why would she tell it, say, I don't need to the end of May. I requested this appointment months ago it should have been an appointment on may 8th so when she called me on the phone i asked about that she's like i didn't say that i said they specifically told me that you said my appointment had to be at the end of may she said well maybe that's the only date they have available i said no 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 we talked about the other dates they had available they said specifically you said i couldn't have an appointment to the end of may so after we go back and forth with the you said and they said shit, then she says, oh, well, when we uh, schedule consultations, we push the consultation out as far as possible so that it give you time to set the appointment. I said, I call bullshit on that, ma'am, because you told me as soon as I left my appointment last Monday to walk down to radiology and set the appointment that day. So why would you push my consultation 
to the end of the fucking month. Well, we just didn't know that radiology was going to take that literally saying that you couldn't have the appointment to the end of the month. I can call back and reschedule. I said, you know what? I'm going to call them myself. I call them myself. But I'm going to go ahead and wait till the 7th. Because it's not going to solve anything at this particular point. Yeah, it shouldn't be on my ass anyway, sir. Speed limit is 40. I'm doing 50, bitch. So, yeah. If I didn't have to deal with the VA, you know what the problem is? I'm going to tell you what the problem is. When I first moved to Orlando, this medical facility that I go to was brand spanking new. New nurses, new doctors, new building, new concept of how they were going to practice medicine. Okay, over the years, there's another facility here that gets such a bad rap. Okay. They, they push you through the system. They talk crazy to you. You know, that's right. The stories I hear about the other VA facilities that's here. Over the years, a lot of staff has transferred in from their other facility. Even the nurse was, one of the nurses was complaining about the doctors. She was like, they don't care. It's not like it used to be. And the sad part is, we as the patients are the ones who are feeling the brunt of things not being the way it used to be. But I'm a loud mouth. I'm a complainer. And at this point in my life, I'm snitching on everybody and everything. So, here I'm going back to the patient after office. Make sure I could document it some kind of way. So when I do find that lawyer that's going to be willing to help me out, I got some type of paper trail. I was about to slam on my brakes, y'all. I was about to slam on my brakes. Try not to choke on my fish. Dealing with this food behind me. They pulled off. They finna cut through the parking lot. Mother sucker. Oh, child. Oh, that's what's going on with them now. So my biopsy was normal, but that still doesn't show why the fuck I'm still bleeding like I'm bleeding. And because I'm bleeding like I'm bleeding, I'm tired as fuck. That's what the problem is. Tired as hell, messing up clothes and shit. Sick of eating fucking bananas. I didn't even have one today. Where is it one today? I need to buy some more. But the bananas are helping. I'm sick of eating them though. I'm telling you. The, the bananas are helping with the flow. Helping decrease it. But it's so heavy right now. That you can't tell that the bananas help them. I buy those 76 packs. Of pads from Sam's. I buy two. I'm almost out. I just bought them last month. Oh shit, I got some fish. You don't need no fishy smell in my damn car. I gotta find that. I did the work, I gotta find that fish I just dropped. Shit, my crook is so damn good. Mm. So, uh, another good news. Finally got my mama on the low income housing list here in Orlando. It's a lottery though. It basically means everybody on the list ain't gonna make it. They're gonna randomly pick some names. My co-worker said it was a hundred people they was gonna pick. They only accepted a thousand applicants. They're gonna randomly pick some names. And those people are eligible to get housing. The thing about the housing here in Orlando, there's luxury apartments here that accept the housing vouchers. So it's not like she necessarily gonna be in the hood or in the uh, impoverished areas 
majority of these facilities around here, they take the vouchers. No matter how upscale the facilities are. Because one, they know they got a lot of knock on seniors who are on a fixed income. And that's the only way that they can afford to be in these places. So, hope she get picked. Hope she do what she got to do to get picked. So, hopefully she's been checking her fucking emails to see if she's been contacted. Then the girl at work, her mama, she's trying to get her mama on the same thing. She was saying that they supposed to pick within the next few days. We'll see. She'll be here, though. She'll be here on the 27th. Y'all get to see my mama back on the channel for a day or so. Oh, no, we doing a trip to the Gullah Islands together. I told y'all going. my birthday's coming up on June 3rd. Happy birthday to me. Gemini season is about to come on through, baby. And so, I'm going to the Gullah Geechee Islands in South Carolina for my birthday. My mama's birthday was just May 4th. Plus, Mother's Day just happened, too. All I got her was a phone call. Actually, that's not true. When she came here last time, me and Kina bought her. I found it. Piece of fish. Me and Kina bought her uh, a ring. We put up, put our money together and paid two hundred dollars for this nice little crystal ring. It wasn't diamonds. It wasn't cubic zirconium, but we love crystal. It was a crystal ring from Swarovski. How you pronounce that? Swarovski crystal? I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, we bought it from there. Gorgeous. And I had told her then, I said, it's your Mother's Day gift. Well, birthday gift was F1. But her going on this trip with me, that'd be part of her gift because, you know, she was like, how much money I need to have? I can't afford to really go right now. I got her her plane ticket here. Um, I'm just going to treat her. It's my birthday, I know. And motherfuckers should be treating me. And they don't. <laughs> I realize y'all. Out of my entire life, this is a sad statement to say. One, people that I actually call friends, that probably need to stop calling these motherfucking friends, with the exception of you guys who are on YouTube. One, two, three. I gotten three gifts from so called friends in all my 50 years on this life, on this world. Three gifts, or should I say, three people that bought me gifts? Out of all my life, all my friends, nobody has ever threw me a party except for my mama. You know how you get your friends get together? I have done this. I got together and planned dinners or lunches and stuff like that. Surprise parties for friends and you know surprise trips. Nobody's ever did that shit for me. The last time I had a party thrown for me in my benefit was my baby shower and I put that together nobody helped organize that shit it came out of my pocket I paid for the venue I paid for this every time I have a gathering it's it's cause of me my last birthday trip Mocha went on it with me no that I went with a friend it was Mocha um I don't recall her paying for anything on my like I don't recall her paying for a meal I, I remember I did that 24 karat gold massage. So I don't recall paying for that. No, she didn't pay for that. I know for sure. I don't think there was anything that she paid for. I paid for my whole stay. And I'm the one that found the stay. Plane ticket. No. But, but I can't say that she has like bought. Actually, you know what? Let me take that back. She bought me a watch for my birthday. Which I love Movado watches. Y'all can't tell. Because I don't wear them. But I love Movado watches. She bought me a watch for my birthday. And then, later on, when we had our money thing, because she owed me some money for a debt that she incurred under my name, she told me that the, when she bought the watch, I was supposed to take that off of how much she owed. So, really, I bought it for myself. So, no, she didn't. I, mean, but I, think, but I think she bought me, they remember her buying me a sweater one year or two. So, I forgot what I was talking about. So, this trip right here, 
I don't expect my mother to do anything for me, even though it's my birthday, on this trip. This is the type of person, peoples that I have in my life. I think I've kind of gotten used to it almost, but I was kind of upset a little bit on Mother's Day, y'all. I was at my Fifi's. Day before Mother's Day, my daughter came into the kitchen and was like, what you want for Mother's Day? And sometimes, like, we go through, we ask each other what we want for, so we can have an idea what to get, what to buy. But I'm thinking, it's the day before Mother's Day. You ask me what I want for Mother's Day. <laughs> so I was in my bag. I was like, you know what, let me think on that. But I didn't want to say nothing. But the next day, I, I slept on it, and I stood on it. And I was like, it was going through my goddamn head. And I was like, when it's time for her to buy stuff for her friend, she, you know, she calculates specifically down to what she going to get for them. But she couldn't think of nothing to get for her mother. My daughter. You know what I'm saying? I know she loved me. I was feeling some kind of way. But come to find out, child. She had already planned a surprise dinner for me. So. <laughs> I was in my feelings for you know, a bad reason. But I was like, yeah. I didn't know about the surprise dinner. But she, she had already had a surprise dinner planned for me. Had reservations at this little restaurant we went to. And it was nice. I love it. But before we went there, before she actually revealed to me that there was a surprise, because I guess she had to tell me because I was feeling kind of way, I, I sat down to her. I said, you know, I don't want to make you feel bad. I just want to make you aware. You know, back when you was younger, you used to do shit. Like, you would, you know me all your life. You know what your mama like and what your mama don't like. I like trinkets. I like thoughtful gifts. It ain't got to be like, you ain't got to go out of your way for me type of thing. You could like write me a card, write me a poem, draw me a picture. You know, I like stuff like that. Um, I mean, you could buy me shit too, but still. You gave me a gift card, anything. I was like, I just feel some kind of way. I say, now, I know this is Mother's Day. And Mother's Day may not be like a big priority. You know, I could give a take on Mother's Day. But my birthday coming up. Don't do me like that on my birthday. <laughs> and that's what she said. Well, mama, I planned a surprise dinner for you. I was like, oh, well, damn. So now, you know, they want to feel kind of bad about it, but I was feeling some kind of way. I was in my bag, y'all. I got up, made myself a big breakfast. And I'm going to tell you, I intentionally didn't make her nothing because I was like, it's my goddamn day. It's Mother's Day. I shouldn't be making my own breakfast. That's what I was thinking. So I didn't cook her nothing. But she slept till like 1 o'clock anyway. So I didn't even know that she was up. But she said she spared them waffles cooking. And she was like, ooh. <laughs> but I was feeling some kind of way. But I think it's because, like, I've been going through. That said, being this tired and fatigued. It's been setting the stage for me to have a depressive mood. And I think that's what I've been just dealing with. Because, I, you know, well, if you haven't been to therapy for depression. Or just talking about your feelings. And... A lot of the times, they I always say when you have statements in here, we're like, well, "Why this happened to me? Or why they why they can't do that for me? You know, the for me, the why this, why this, why this, why this? You know, when you had those type of thoughts, you going down a depressive road. That's what I'm saying, and that's where I was at. You know, but you know, I little dinner together to help me snap out of because I love being with my daughter. Um, however, like like she said, she's not going on my birthday trip with me. Which normally she would do. No, not true. Now think about it. I've taken a lot of trips on my birthday without her. But I spend her birthday with her. Mostly every year. I don't think we did anything this year. Because we're moving. That's why. That's the only reason why. But I was planning a big trip for her out of the country. And we didn't do that. Anywho, so. Yeah, she don't go with me on my birthday trips. Now think about it. But I'm not, And I always invite her. She didn't go to Cuba. She didn't go... Well, she went to London. She did do that one. That was a, that was my birthday trip to myself too. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, anywho, but she's just going to be just coming back in town when I leave for town for my trip. So she was like, "I don't think I could handle doing back to back trips like that," which is totally understandable because we both know that we gone over seven days, child. We be be ready for it to be over honey 
So, her friends, though, invited her somewhere the same weekend. And she was planning on going at first. But then it, it they changed the trip to make it like a, a whole weekend stay. And um, I think that she was really considering it. Now, she brought it to me and asked me when it was my trip. You know, because we got to make sure that the animals taken care of and everything. And my first thought was like, oh, hell no, no, you're not. You ain't finna go on my trip with me. You ain't going with them. It's my goddamn birthday we get. But I'm not going to be here. So she could go with her friends. Oh, God, I was like just in my bag. I was in my bag. But I think she decided not to go specifically because of the animals. Specifically because of the animals. Oh, wait, you something. Oh, okay. Yeah, specifically because of the animals, I think she uh, decided not to go. I didn't know what was going on right there. I saw this, the person going with the stop sign. I'm like, why well, we got the stop sign up on my end? Being that our light is green, but yeah, I, I was stopping when I shouldn't have. Anyway. Well, these crossing boys be walking. Everybody across the street. Old people, <laughs> young men, everybody. Everybody. But the students, I barely see any students on the corner, but it be all kind of adults crossing. Them crossing guards be helping them cross. So, <sighs> I don't know what is with the time that I leave the house on time and I haven't been able to get to work on time. So, something's going on with the traffic that I ain't really been paying attention to, or I'm not speeding as much as I used to, one or two. I don't know. Shit. But, I got a lot of stuff to do, like I said. So, even if I get off early today, I don't know. I got to figure out some kind of way to maneuver all this stuff. Because, one, I need to get my car fixed. Um, I told y'all if I got that oil change, then my, get my check engine light came on. Yeah. My check engine light is on. And I decided not to fly because renting a car was going to be hella expensive up in uh, South Carolina. So if I was going to rent a car, I was going to rent it from Florida. It was going to be cheaper. And then my car started malfunctioning. So now I need to put money into fixing my car. And I'm like, if I put money into fixing my car, I'm driving my car. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pay the money, get my car fixed, cancel my rental, and just take my car on the road. I don't mind putting the miles on it. it just I just need to make sure it's running. Because um, I think it was a... I don't know how long this drive is. I didn't even map it out. I think it may be six hours. Almost similar to going to Georgia, Atlanta. But it's, I'm going up the coast. So we've never driven up the coast before. So this is going to give us some new sights to see. Um, I set up some tours on the Gullah Geechee Island. I, oh, well, I'm trying to set up a tour. Um, but the tour agency had on their website that they help with lodging and then planning your whole weekend. So that's what I'm trying to get them to do. But they, at first, they was responding like boom, 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 boom. And I said, oh, they got tired of me because they don't stop responding all together. So I'm going to try to reach out to them again, ask them about the package. Because uh, once I know what their packages are that are available, then I can better tell them when I can do a tour, you know? Um, but we're going to do the tour regardless. Now, child, I honestly don't care to see no plantations. I know I was asking uh, people like, where have y'all stayed when y'all went to the Geechee Islands? I don't know too many people have been. Miss Honey is the only one who responded, but she's, she was in Tyree Island, which is located in the Georgia portion, and I'm going to the South Carolina portion. Um, but she said she stayed on a plantation, and it was really nice. I don't know if I want to stay on a plantation. I know what I don't want to stay on a plantation. I'm probably going to end up staying on one because it's part of the experience. I just don't I don't have to experience what my ancestors experienced. I'm not one of the people. Like, you know, sometimes you go down to the plantations down in Louisiana, and then they have you out there, and they can show you, they'll let you pick the cotton. I, I don't want to do that shit. But I do want to take the tour to learn about the area. And, like, I have DNA ancestry connected to North Carolina. I don't know if I'm connected to these specific people, but I like learning about history and things like that. So it's a lot of things I want to learn once I get there. This is going to be a for real learning experience for me. I'm not going to party. 
even though I may do some type of party and on my birthday, I'm not sure yet. I heard about this nice little spot up in North Carolina. I don't know how far it is from where I'm at. I probably go up to Buford and just take a look around. Um, I think Charlotte is nearby. Oh, Charlotte is nearby, and that's where the party spot is at. So I might do a part, I might go do some actual party on my birthday. I'm not sure. You know, I'm about to be 50. Five zero, and my mama. But well, I'm about to be fifty. My mama just turned sixty-seven, so I don't know. She still party though. She party more than I do. <laughs> so she may still go. She may still want to go. At least I don't know. Maybe I'll just go go get a drink or something for herself. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, we'll figure it out once I get there. But yeah, we've never been. We've never really driven up this coastline. Like I was stationed in Paris Island. Um, and I remember seeing the coastline. I remember running along it when I was in boot camp. Um, but my mother didn't come to my uh, graduation. I didn't have any family come to my graduation from boot camp. Now I think about it. Yeah, none of my family showed up for my boot, my, uh, boot camp graduation. They had four months to figure that shit out. Hell, yeah, none of my family came to my fucking wedding. Now I think about it. None of them. See, I'm about to put myself back into a depressive mood. Just think about all the shit that people ain't did for me in my life that I showed up for for them. That shit it pisses you off and then it makes me in a mood because then I get angry and then I stay triggered for the rest of the fucking day. And I'm trying not to be that way. I'm trying to step into 50 with a different set of mind. Anyway, y'all. Um, there's been a lot of changes on my business website. It may not look like it, but there's a basically a 25% off sale going on my website. Up to 25%. You may not necessarily get 25%, but up to 25% off on the website. Um, majority of everything. So if y'all want to go over there and check it out, pick y'all up some things. www.sivadbaudy.com. Get yourself ready for the summertime. Get you some honey butter lip gloss those lips together, you know, with the sun beaming down on us, you know, you start getting the dark little lips, a lot of y'all smoke weed, y'all get the dark little lips, some of y'all smoke cigarettes, get the dark little lips, honey butter lip gloss will help you with the colorations, so it won't be uh, so darkened, um, but while keeping your lips moist at the same dark on time, so but I'm really kind of promoting my honey uh, infused products, my honey enriched products, uh, I'm about to update on the website, all my lip glosses where you can add in honey as an option for you it will cost you a couple bucks more but it, it makes the gloss itself feel so fucking luxurious on your lips it really does I don't have any on today I need some on but I haven't worn any lip gloss in about 2 or 3 days just trying to let my lips breathe Alright y'all, I'm at work. I'll talk to y'all later. This has been Travel Talk Tuesday. Peace.